What's up, what's up everyone? Happy New Year's. SWAT Styles here bringing you some Starhawk private gameplay footage. We were able to get uh, some uh, early access to Starhawk thanks to our good friend JJ Wise. So JJ, thanks a lot for uh, hooking that up for us. And you know, we love the game. It's a very, very refreshing feel and you guys will see that right away as soon as we get started. Uh, Starhawk, for those who don't know what it's all about, third-person intergalactic shooter, I like to call it. Uh, kind of reminds me of Star Wars a little bit, just because it's in space and it's all lasers and whatnot. But, uh, you know, really, really good game and refreshing. Very different multiplayer, um, which made it just exciting to play because it was, it was, it's very unique in its own way. Uh, has beautiful backgrounds and whatnot, and you can see that now. You can even see it's, it's through my uh, HD flip, and you can even see the, you know, the stitching on the sleeves and whatnot, and it's it's pretty awesome. So we'll go ahead and get started. We're just playing a standard capture the flag mode, and this is how you respawn in, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. You're always like you're like um, a meteor falling from the sky or something. And this game's awesome because as you see, I'm building a garage right here, and you have like these superpowers, you don't really know why yet, this is just the multiplayer beta so I have no clue what the story's about. Um, but you have these orbs that you collect as you kill people and uh, capture points whenever you do an objective you get a certain amount of orbs and those orbs will allow you to build certain things like a uh, car garage here which I've built out of nowhere. There's walls, sniper posts, supply bunkers, all that good stuff. Um, trying to run over that board thing. If you blow that up, you actually get some more out of that. And, and that's pretty much how the dynamic, what really makes this game different is that you build things on the fly instead of having a kill streak or a care package or anything like that. Um, you gather points to kind of build your battlefield whichever way you want it. Which really makes it really cool and unique and I'm just road killing everyone here. And I actually, I usually get this car and try and hop out and grab the flag, but teammate was already there and I was able to pick him up and we're going home. And guys, listen to the music real quick. The music is really cool, really nice feel to it. It's kind of epic. Um, makes the game really fun. Uh, this was all bare right here, but you could see my team actually built a wall and I was really confused, so I like turned in. I didn't even know it was like a car depot for, uh, or like a garage door for uh, friendly troops only, so that's pretty cool. And everything you build does have a health meter as well, so the other team can destroy it. But it, it, that also allows a lot of balance. And at the same time, I think when you die after a few amount of time, I'm pretty sure it's just time based actually. I was going to say if you die, you actually lose your berries, but you don't. But uh, someone here built a supply bunker. And I'm just reloading here, uh, getting all my rocket launchers and whatnot. And this big orb generator at the spawn allows you to uh, build up your orb meter a little bit at a time. As you saw, I was out and all of a sudden I had eight orbs. Uh, my orb meter filled to eight. And I get into the main reason that this game is called Starhawk. You control your very own freaking mech warrior Starhawk and it's, it's epic. Um, unfortunately, I really sucked at it, but it was it was awesome every time. So uh, you could fly, take people down as you rank up your Starhawk as well. You get like um, you know lock on missile features and all that. So I only have the machine gun at this point. I've seen people dropping bombs out of the air, and this is badass right here, where you can just turn back into your mech warrior and start owning the playing field. Um, it's really, really cool. Again, different feel. You know, I built Starhawks, and if you have more than one team member with Starhawk, you know, you just have two or three hawks in the fly and in the sky. Sorry, just flying out, and like I got owned there by another Starhawk, an enemy Starhawk. Um, but yeah, I made the game really cool. Here's something else I'm gonna build real quick, but uh, just gonna speed up the gameplay because uh, I love reloading my, my guns, especially for what I'm about to do here. Um, but yeah, it, you respawn is pretty epic because you're, you know, pretty much a meteor out. Uh, building up a meteor, I pretty much went out of. Um, one thing that I've noticed though is that people will stay at their spawn point and just wait to build the meteor up all the way so they can build everything, uh, which kind of puts a lot of lag to the game. And, and, you know, 
it's just me base instead of going out to get kills. As you saw, I build a jetpack deployment and I'm freaking flying in here right here with a rocket launcher. It reminds me of Halo, it's, it's so much fun. Um, and you guys will see that here in a little bit as I start mining up. I got really good at this toward the end of my gameplay series. Um, so it was really, really fun actually getting into the right spots with just a rocket launcher and landing down rockets on the field. It was actually really cool. You can see here as I'm flying again, I'm trying to get to the other area and I'm getting shot by this big laser beam here. Me, me, me. Activate the laser. <laughs> Uh, the jetpack, I don't know why, don't even ask. The jetpack's cool, but I guess for balancing issues, just to make it, make it a really fair gameplay uh, all around, you can't really control your descent, and you'll see that a little bit here, um, where you just kind of glide down to the ground, and that big laser cannon there is actually what one of the unlockables is as you, a, after you build your orb list up, and I get into position here, throw some rockets down, but... See, this is what I'm talking about. These two guys have probably been there the whole map, just building up their whole zone and their whole area. And so we really got to see what's what's going on with that and, and how they adjust that. I'm hoping that you could only build so much, like your meter only fills up so much there. I mean, for crying out loud, you see this thing here that just deploys into the ground and makes this giant force field. It's, it's like some cool Star Wars stuff, man. It's... <laughs> It's so legit. So I try shooting at it. Obviously, nothing's going to happen here. And, uh, you know, I'm, like, trying to get the flag. Another thing that's cool about the balancing is that you can't travel with the jetpack if you grab the flag as well. And I almost shotted that guy down. But either way, uh, the jetpack's definitely a cool way to go. And nothing really happens here. So we'll just take a, a short break and hear from XS. What's up guys, SWAT Styles back again, I just wanted to take a quick breather, I was getting thirsty and a little cotton mouth there, so I just wanted a quick breather and introduce you guys to the Excess Energy Drink, you guys can see it in action, I know you've been uh, hearing about it and we've been talking about it for really long, but uh, again, if you're a fan of our first person shooters and have come to our events, we always have Excess there and Ace Unlimited, uh, thank you so much for working with us and uh, promoting the Excess Energy Drink with uh, among the fighters at the Reese tournaments and every other event you go. Uh, this I have no clue what happened, I just fell <laughs> and uh, lost my bearings and fell as I was trying to build something but this is the second stage that uh, Starhawk provides you with. Uh, it's a two stage, ma uh, two stage beta and uh, that was a little bit of a knife lag there but two stages, two modes, deathmatch and capture the flag. There is a couple other modes um, but we have no clue what they are so far, so it's probably pretty cool objective based modes. And uh, here I go with my rocket launcher again. I guess you could call me a little bit of a noob, but I, or I, I really was, because it, it did take me a long time to catch my bearings and to see which weapons work best with what, because I cruised with that rocket launcher for, for quite some time. I guess it's the, the most effective weapon. And the sniper as well is just a two hit, and they're done no matter where you hit them. Uh, but I just preferred the jetpack and rocket launcher combination. <laughs> uh, one thing, one flaw, definitely flaw that you need to work on is the hit markers or just the damage of certain guns. Because um, it really does take a while to, to kill an enemy, uh, depending again on the gun that you're using. Like the assault rifle, it should be a lot stronger. Um, and you'll see some examples here in a little bit. Um, another thing they should probably fix is that... Uh, that orb, I guess that leveling up with the orb station right at the spawn, literally, it gets boring when you go into a room and five out of the eight players are just leveling up their orb, their orb bar, and then you're walking into these uh, fortresses and you can't really do anything about it. Uh, I did prefer the capture the flag more than the deathmatch. It just gave it more of an objective, um, something to, to play towards, because literally everyone's running with around like their head cut off either way but these guys are behind their fortress again that they deployed on a portable spawn island that's there and they destroyed my sniper uh, tower which is really cool about the sniper tower too it, it, it's badass how you can literally set the stage set the battlefield uh, depending on how you deploy 
uh, the things that you want to deploy like uh, there's a wall that you can deploy and I've seen people literally plan out a strategic you know route of action based on walls and that right there now see we just knife each other but I was chasing that guy with bullets all the way up the ladder he should have died um, you know maybe I didn't hit him up I hit him all the way up but I did get a good eight to ten shots on him that he should have died with but uh, this game was was good I mean it's definitely a good addition to Warhawk a big big step forward for them I'm looking forward to what this game has to offer it's it's gonna be good um, will I be competitive in it? Probably not. Um, I just see myself really having fun with this game and messing around with some friends. Uh, thanks again to JJY for supporting uh, Access Underground and giving us uh, a copy of the exclusive private beta. Uh, it means a lot to us and uh, you know, we had a great time playing it. Uh, and we'll see you at the public beta which will come out in mid-January. I know the video is uh, wrapping up here. Mid-January, the public beta comes out if you had bought in the Uncharted 3 um, <clears throat> video game. You got the beta code. But there's Starhawk, guys. Uh, Happy New Year's once again, and SWAT Styles signing off. Peace, guys. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Hello? Access Underground. Where the real players do it.